I think we proceed onward. And if we don't have enough, we'll figure it out when, when, that, when, that, when that occurs. Hello homemakers, I'm Melinda and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. And today we're making a ladybug cake. The ladybug cake is from section F, children's parties, and it's card number one. It's part of the arty party card. Um, all of the children's parties cards have ideas for parties, obviously, aside from what to cook, but also like what to do at the party. And so Betty Crocker says that this party is a rock painting party. Cut out invitations in the shape of an artist's palette and find lots of round, smooth rocks. Gather some brushes, paints, paper, and paper towels. Use the ladybug cake as a model and eat it later. The rocks go home with each guest for paper rates or doorstops. So I guess the idea is you make a ladybug cake and then all the kids like paint rocks to look like insects. <laughs> I don't know. But I just thought the cake itself was so cute and so I wanted to make it. Um, the recipe card has kind of instructions for how to make a cake in an oven safe bowl and that's how you get the round dome. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to use my Betty Crocker bacon pill set. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon pill set came out in 2004 and if you were watching a lot of TV after school like I was in 2004 you probably saw infomercials for this all the time. Um, it just made it seem so cool to be able to bake a cake and fill it with ice cream or pudding or fruit or whatever and so I had to have it. I think I got it for my birthday. I don't really remember using it but I did dig it out of my parents basement so that we can make a ladybug cake with it today and I'm super excited to try it out. Okay, so I'm not actually following the recipe on the back of the card for this one. The, the card is more of an inspiration for me. It's just kind of, it's gonna be my inspiration for the decoration. Um, Cause the back of the card says that you're supposed to use the pound cake mix and then you're supposed to prepare the fluffy white frosting mix that we know and hate and <laughs> then decorate it with a bunch of candy. Uh, rather than follow the card, I wanted to follow the bacon fill recipe booklet because I just want to make sure that the bake and fill process happens correctly. <laughs> so in the recipe booklet, it says to use a box cake mix. So that's what we're gonna do. I have yellow cake, I have um, the eggs, the water, the oil, etc., to make the cake. And then I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a strawberries and cream filling because I don't know, ladybugs are red, strawberries are red. That'd be fun, fresh spring. Um, so I have strawberries, I have whipping cream, and then I have a bunch of stuff to decorate. So, without further ado, let's get this big until going. <laughs> well, guess what? I bought a weird cake mix. I didn't realize it, but I thought I was just trying to get yellow cake and I got butter recipe yellow, which turns out it needs, instead of oil, it needs softened butter. Who knew? Luckily I had butter. But this means that in order to really make sure the butter is creamed thoroughly, and throughout the cake mix, I think I'm gonna do it in the stand mixer instead of whisking my hand, just because I tried to soften the butter as best I could, but it's not the softest butter in the world, so we're gonna do it in the stand mixer. It's gonna be fine. Just one more thing for me to wash, right? So I'm gonna start, I guess I'm gonna start with the butter and the eggs, just to get those kind of broken down, and then I'll put the cake mix and the water in. <laughs> Okay, so I tried, to, I tried to get the butter in there be, as best I can. <laughs> I'm just gonna add the cake mix now. All right, so we have our batter. I hope the butter-based batter <laughs> works the same as the oil-based ones. I don't want it to I don't want it to mess up my cake. I'm sure it's fine. I trust Betty. Um <laughs> so I uh seemingly lost the booklet uh with the recipes in it and the instructions for how to use the bacon bill, but I found a copy online and so I printed out some select pages and we're just gonna follow the instructions for how to make a filled 
cake with the dome pan. So it says to use shortening to lightly grease all baking surfaces. Do not use cooking spray. I don't know why you can't use cooking spray, but who cares? So this is my little this is my little secret tip: is that whenever I degrease something with shortening, I put my hand in a bag and then I, I grease it this way. <laughs> so this is what I I do. So we're greasing the base pan. Nice and greased. I'm assuming that this is likely to get stuck and cooking spray isn't that helpful compared to like properly greasing something because cooking spray kind of like beads and like runs down and you really want it to not stick to any of these surfaces. Make one package of Betty Crocker Super Moist Cake Mix, any flavor, as direct on the package, done. Pour batter to fill line on inside of dome pan. Do not overflow. Okay. Everyone, get out of the way. The fill line is like right here, if you can see it. Here we go. Here we go. That is pretty much at the fill line. Place insert pan over dome pan, secure by turning clockwise until handles are aligned and locked in place. <laughs> Maybe I over greased it, you know, but better safe than sorry. Wait. Pour remaining batter into base pan. The pan should not be more than halfway full. So this is what we're doing. We're baking the base cake at 350 for 28 to 30 minutes, and then we're baking the dome cake for 45 to 50 minutes. So let's put these in the oven, and we'll check in in 30 and 50 minutes, respectively. All right, so it's been 50 minutes. I took this base cake out at 30, and it's been cooling on a rack. This has been cooling for 20 minutes with the lid still on. And now after 20 minutes, we're allowed to take the lid off so it can continue to cool. So let's go ahead and spin this. The moment of truth, the reveal. It is spinning freely, which is a good sign. Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa, steamy. <laughs> okay, she looks baked. It's pulling up from the sides, which is a good sign that we're gonna have a good ladybug. It does feel very moist. <laughs> So we're just gonna continue to let this cool, and then once it's cooled down enough, we'll make the filling and fill it. All right, so it's time to make the filling for the ladybug cake. I have a cold bowl. Um, so I wanted to, um, as if I wasn't already going off the rails with this recipe, I wanted to um, make stabilized whipped cream because I'm nervous about the whipped cream inside the cake, like melting or weeping and stabilizing whipped cream helps it kind of stay thick and nice and fluffy for longer um, and to do that you use a little bit of unflavored gelatin so I have a teaspoon of unflavored gelatin I have three teaspoons of water and we're just going to combine those so then I'm going to microwave this for like five seconds <laughs> I'm told what was the point of that I'm not sure I guess it warms it up. <laughs> and now we're gonna make the whipped cream as planned. So I have a half cup of whipped cream. And we're just gonna start that whipping and then add in the vanilla and the powdered sugar. Going. <laughs> proceed onward and if we don't have enough we'll figure it out when, when, that, when that when that occurs all right it's the moment of truth it's time to fill our cake i'm so excited okay we're gonna take i have about i don't know what this is a cup a cup and a half of uh, sliced strawberries i'm gonna put it in the whipped cream and fold it together that feels like a good ratio of strawberry to whipped cream you know I think that's gonna fill the whole perfect thing. There it goes. In you go, buddy. 
Big and fill. Big and fill. <laughs> Big and fill. Now, we put this on top. And do I want the bottom to be the top or the top to be the bottom? What do I want? I think I want this to be on the inside. <laughs> so put that like that. And press it in. Okay, now it just says to refrigerate this until very cold. <laughs> so we're gonna put it in the fridge. I guess I'm gonna wait an hour and then I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna frost it and decorate it. All right, so while the cake is in the fridge, I thought we could chat decorations. So um, as you can see from the front of the card, what we're working with here is it is a cake that's covered in white frosting. And then most of it, except for the face, is covered in red sugar sprinkles. So I have lots of sugar sprinkles. That we should be good on. <laughs> then you can see that the antenna and eyebrows are made from black licorice and the mouse made from red licorice. And the nose is made from a gumdrop. I could not find gumdrops or black licorice anywhere. I did find the Twizzlers pull and peel red licorice. So we can make the mouth. I'm thinking from the nose, we either cut like a cross section of the Twizzler and use that for the nose, or maybe we even use like the tip of a strawberry for the nose. That could be cute. Um, so that's that. Then there are these big eyes and big black spots. And the back of the card claims that they used black gumdrop slices for the eyes and um, spots. And I just, I don't believe it. <laughs> Why, where would you find a gumdrop that big? I don't know. If you remember from the Black Cat Cupcake episode, that also used black licorice gumdrops and they were tiny. Like the cats we made on the cupcakes were like so small. How am I supposed to fill a whole cake with spots? It just doesn't make any sense. So I'm not gonna use black licorice gumdrops. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So then I was like, what else could I use? Um, I thought about maybe using those chocolate wafers like we made the grasshopper pie with, couldn't find them. I was like, what if I found like a grape flavored fruit leather and I cut circles out of it? Um, couldn't find that anywhere. <laughs> um, like I said, I couldn't find the black orange for the antenna. So I was like, maybe the best thing to do in this situation is to use fondant. So I have some black fondant that we're gonna roll out and hopefully use both for the antenna and for the spots and the eyes. I've never used fondant before, but I assume it's gonna be pretty easy to manage. We'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the spots and the eyes, and then we'll start to decorate the cake. This must be vanilla flavored. Should I taste it? Sugar. <laughs> Let's take a chunk of it. It's turning my hands wet. Not good. Let's just roll it out. Hope for the best. Well, I don't know. We have a spot. The other thing I wanted to make sure we could do with this is make antenna. So like if I roll this out really thin, will it hold its shape like an antenna? <laughs> or will it flop? I have a feeling the answer is flop. <laughs> it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna take the cake out of the dome and see if it worked. Okay, I'm putting. And then we're flipping it over. <laughs> Will it come out of the dome? Oh no. and creamy white and we're just gonna frost the whole cake first in white <gasps> hello <gasps> wow 
The fruit and cream filling wasn't my first choice. I obviously am intrigued by the concept of the ice cream filling, but I also watched this TikTok from this guy named Zachariah, and he tried the Betty Crocker bacon fill pan with ice cream, and it failed miserably. <laughs> so I was like nervous to do it after watching his failure. <laughs> and it just like takes longer, so I don't think it's worth it. Not today, not on camera, not for my first cake. We needed a successful cake under my belt, and then maybe I can get experimental with ice cream. <laughs> She's gorgeous, beautiful. She's marvelous. She's a little cake. Okay, I don't know if I should clean it too much yet because I feel like this is gonna be a mess. So I'm gonna do this first, and then we'll clean the edges. I'm trying to decide what the front is, what the face of the cake is. I mean, it's gorgeous all around. It's 360 degrees of gorgeous. I guess this back is not too cute. Okay, never mind, never mind. Do I just kind of, uh, like this? I'm gonna get sugar everywhere. I'm getting sugar everywhere. Like, how do I get it? How do I get it there? You know, do I just kind of go like... <laughs> it's not not working. Ugh, even the face is getting some on it. I need to avoid getting it on the face. Okay, we're gonna call it done. And we'll clean up the edge. And we'll clean up the plate. <laughs> and then we'll keep decorating. All right. We've cleaned up a bit, but every time I move it, it like sheds more sugar. <laughs> so it's kind of a never ending battle. But now we can determine the size of the eyes and the size of the dots because here's our fondant. What do we think? Here's my photo. I mean, it has big eyes. Would it be crazy? Would it be crazy? I mean, it's kind of cute. What's the alternate? <laughs> What's the alternative? No. These are too small for eyes, but these would be way too big for eyes. Okay, I've decided. These are the eyes. It's hard to do this in front of the camera. Okay, there's one. And there's the other. Cutie. Um, so then next, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I guess we could do the math. Okay. <laughs> I can't get over him. Don't slide or anything. Just stay in place. <laughs> Those are the antenna. Okay, cutie. <laughs> this is the lucky fucking. It's incredible. <laughs> okay, here lies the beautiful Ava cake. Gone too soon. beautiful to pass on to the great beyond but we have to see if the bacon fell worked okay <laughs> i don't want to cut it but i have to cut it because i have to see if the bacon fell worked but she's so cute oh it's too cute it's too cute to cut it okay we're gonna cut out the butt we're just gonna cut a little slice out of the butt <laughs> I have to go far enough in to know that I'm getting a filling, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Fondant. Go away. And the reveal? strawberries and cream in there. <laughs> the 
the ratio of um, filling to cake is kind of sad. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Let's see how this butter cake tastes. Mmm. I mean, whipped cream, all incredible. Tastes the same as if I use oil. <laughs> Sugar outside, crunchy. My only complaint is I wish it had more filling. There's so much cake and so little filling in there. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Ladybug cake's so cute. Mm. I mean, what can I say? It's cake. Cake's cake, cake's gonna taste good. Hands down, this is the cutest thing I've ever made. This is the cutest thing I'll ever make. This is the most successful cake I've ever made. This is it, I peaked. I peaked. I should retire. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, Betty Crocker Bacon Phil. Right, Ladybug Cake on the Artie Party Card. I love this idea. Of course, I can't really rate the card recipe itself because I didn't follow it. But if I'm just rating it based on the concept it's providing me, the inspiration, then it's getting five out of five red spoons. Like, making a ladybug cake is such a great idea, especially with the Betty Crocker bacon fill. Like, having this perfect dome is just so precious. It makes the cake look so cute. It's such a great idea. And it was honestly pretty easy. Um, it wasn't that many ingredients. The cake itself went well. <laughs> I was so convinced that the bacon fill was gonna go wrong at some point during the process, but it worked. So I love it. My only complaint is that it doesn't have a lot of filling. You know, when you when you look back at that little amount of whipped cream and strawberry I had, and the little tiny bowl that it goes into, you just realize. It's, a, it's a, a lot of extra steps to make a cake that has barely any filling. <laughs> um, but it's still a fun concept and worth doing and a fun surprise to have filling inside the cake. So yeah, five out of five. How have I read spoons? This was fun. I had such a fun time making it. Um, I, this was an RV party. Like I got to like be creative and like design the ladybug the way I wanted. Ugh, so cute. <laughs> All right, back in the box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this week's episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy homemaking.